Hey, so, yeah, I'm chilling here, listening to uh, some of this good music that uh, Astral Traveler sent me. You get me, man. You do. I'm listening to this Kevin Poster pack. And uh, this is real nice, real nice. You know, it's, you can hear that... Um, the guy plays guitar mainly. He's also playing recorder, and his recorder playing is... It's just, it's good enough. But the feeling, can you feel the music, folks? It's got a good feeling, you know. Thank you, Brother Chris. <clears throat> so... I started to make a video and then I stopped because I got all self-conscious and then I just said, fuck it, I want to talk some more. And um, so I'm going to. And I have a few things. It's I have a, some really good reasons why <laughs> I want to talk some more, you know. Um, I got to watching some videos while relaxing after uh, work. This is my beginning of my last holiday weekend of the year. <coughs> Unfortunately, it feels like I just had a damn cold. I thought I had the flu already. And it's going around at work again. And I feel it. God dang it. I feel it, you know. Shit. You know, it's like the last thing I need for my three-day weekend. This is my weekend. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I've already started it, you know. I want to enjoy myself and kick way back. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> so... Hopefully this is um, just a little tickle in my throat tonight. But the reason why I wanted to uh, speak a little bit more besides um, giving a, a little preliminary on some of the music I've tasted because I've just tasted it, okay? Again, I just really appreciate the love that you send me through the music, Chris. It's very genuine. The, the things that I played, all I, I sampled everything, but I played all of side one of the Pascal Langeron when I went to lay down for a little bit. I went and took a nap. I don't think I quite fell asleep close. And this was perfect, you know, and it says it on the back. Relaxation, meditation. And this was, this is sweet nice kind of I don't know if minimal is the way of describing his guitar work but it's not flashy at all and um, interesting atmosphere you know I kept thinking the record was over and then then the next thing you know it, it, there would be music again kind of like it just kind of creeps out from under a rock that was the impression I got on first listening. I just got to play the first track on side one of this. Yes! You know, he's a drummer and frenetic. He's a bit like uh, the cat from Artin Mestieri. His approach, it's kind of frenetic and busy. Um, sublimation is what I listen to. Yeah. Excellent, my friend. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so then, of course, I watched a few videos. And um, one of the videos that I watched, which prompted me to do this, is I watched Mr. Hall of Fame's 1,331 contest. Congratulations, uh, Brandon, on 1,331 uh, subscribers. Wow. But as I said in my comment, man, you know, you're very charismatic, you know, and, um, you know, your taste, you know, it's like kind of the, almost the heart and soul of America in, in a lot of ways, to my perception. So it really makes sense that a lot of people would um, relate to you, you know, I relate to you. Um, on many levels, you know, I just, you just seem like a real good person. You know, I, I feel your spirit and I see it in your eyes too. The eyes don't lie, people. Uh, I, I'm a, 
we're all different, but I am amazed how many people cannot see what the eyes have to say about a person. <laughs> There's a reason why there are cultures in the world where people do not want you looking them in the eye. <laughs> so, um, the thing is, though, when I was watching um, Mr. Hall of Fame, Brandon, I'm going to call him his real name, Brandon. That's a great name. And it fits you, man. It does, you know, Brandon. As I'm watching your video, I thought to myself, oh, geez, I haven't checked mine lately. The last I, time I checked my uh, subscriber thing, because I don't pay attention to it, you know. It was something like 960. So I checked it, and it was 1,004. And I said, oh, my God. I'm past a thousand. I missed a thousand. I thought I'd probably catch it. I, you know, if it ever, if it was ever going to happen, you know, overly modest me. I don't know. I, I just, you know, I, I, I try to love myself, but I try to remain humble. I may be to a fault. I don't know. I don't know how to get it right. Do you know how to get it right? I just really doubt it. You know, I think, you know, some people have more together than I do, but still we all just got to go our path, you know, and this is my path, you know, just who I am. So, geez, I have a thousand subscribers. What? And also, I know that the number is inaccurate because there could be a lot of dead subscriptions. Big, And it's like, I'm not just, but to be able to say I have over a thousand subscribers, I don't, what? what wow, you know? So I share in your um, joy, uh, Mr. Hall of Fame. But I'm not going to have a contest right now. I I don't know why I didn't think that I was going to be hitting a thousand anytime soon. I really didn't. And this is just, it will stress me the holy hell out to try and start a contest. There's some contests going already. So, uh, so this is not my entry, uh, Mr. Hall of Fame. I'll do an entry to your uh, contest in a second. I just wanted to acknowledge that I've surpassed the 1,000 mark in subscribers. Yay! Thank you. Thank you for what I perceive to be is interest and acceptance or amusement, bemusement. I have no idea. I only know that when I make these videos and as I'm looking at myself, I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself, and so this is this is me, you know. Um, yeah, you know, I've always wanted an audience. That's why I'm a, a that's why I'm in, in bands, you know. Um, uh, there have been times in the past where I have flirted with Things like, well, for a while, becoming a man of the clergy, you know, that's a whole story. I almost became a priest, you know, I actually went to seminary for just an extended visit. That's all it took. <laughs> um, but I've also, not seriously, but seriously considered local politics or I've been in, I've been involved in, I've act, you know, been an activist in many different ways over the years. You know, starting with um, getting hauled into the Black Panthers by my big sister Stephanie, and uh, all that, all that that brought, which was quite an education, and a lot of other. <clears throat> Nebraskans for Peace was is a. I think the organization is still going. I'm not a member anymore, but. So yeah. What I'm saying is, you know, I, I have always wanted to be able to share my thoughts and feelings with other people in the hopes that I would find people who can relate to me, can understand that somehow what I'm saying is somehow speaking for them as well. And then also just looking for friends, for people to ally, ally myself with people who have a, a, a like mind, although I 
think of myself as being accepting of everyone, and apparently I am pretty accepting of everyone. Um, so, with all that said, this uh, channel of mine here on YouTube and how it's become focal within what we call the vinyl community is just very, very special to me. Um, very special to me. And um, the fact that my older sister Stephanie has joined me here on YouTube, I know she was making videos and had a channel, and my other sister Adrian has a channel. She doesn't do much on it. But the fact that Stephanie is here now, I mean, that's... I can say it, and you all know what I mean. She is here now with us, with me, in this realm, this sphere, this this headspace that we, I dare say that we all have now, that we carry with us in our lives, the vinyl community. We found each other, and that just means so much to me that my sister is a part of this now. Stephanie, I love you so much. Thank you. And, um, yes, and I'm so glad that I don't feel like I'm obligated to work with you. I want to do use some of your work, you know what I'm saying? I, I wanted to say that, you know. Um, I think you understand why I say those things, Stephanie, because of, I just have this kind of wraparound way of thinking about things, you know. So, I wanted to show just a few more records, even though it's been a while. I've been going on for a few minutes here. Just from watching the the um, vinyl community, uh, I wanted to, you know, um, Chris Astral Travel, you've been showing videos, and one of the artists you showed recently was Vic Juris, and I, <coughs> I pulled this out because I hadn't played it in a while. Wee! This man is a monster on the guitar. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> kind of in that Pat Martino type of uh, vein, blistering, you know. George Benson, you know, a little more on the Martino side, which I like. And um, Rick Laird on, is on bass here, too. This is, I understand, it says here that this is uh, Vic's first album uh, under his uh, leadership. So I had to pull that, and uh, that was great. I believe it was Sublime Media who was uh, lamenting that we have not been seeing uh, Spellerine. And I just happened to catch that Spellerine did make a video this month. I hadn't seen it yet, so I caught that. But what he was, but what it was playing and what was showing was so cool because it was Captain Beyond. He he showed this version on vinyl, which this is my CD version, which is the Japanese. And this cover is different from the American version, so I had never seen a full size version of this artwork on a cover. That was way cool. What? Wonder what country that um, is pressing is from, uh, Spellerine. So I just felt like pulling that and showing it, and then I thought I would show the American version. And this is an original of the American with the, uh, I guess you call it uh, the um, lenticular. Is that is this lenticular or what is this? Because it isn't quite. It's something. But this is a fantastic hard rock, classic hard rock album. This represents kind of what hard rock slash metal I have. Because this is before you were calling this stuff metal. It was still hard rock. I mean, this band, I mean, we have, um, it's an amazing band. Bobby Caldwell, Rod Evans from uh, the original Deep Purple on vocals. Bobby Caldwell from Johnny Winter Ann on drums. Rhino, who was in uh, Blues Image as well as Iron Butterfly on guitar. Lee Dorman from Iron Butterfly. Jeez, you know. And the album Blisters. If you go and watch Spellerine's latest video, you can hear it. He's just blasting it, and it's just fabulous. My first band, I after I quit, my first band restricted when John Tingle, who ended up in Digital Sex with me, they learned the entire first side of this album. And that was one of the things that I was so envious that I, you know, I didn't get on that. But that was one of the things that they were known for locally, but way back in the 70s that they played Captain Beyond. 
note for note, that's what people would say. I mean, it was really pretty close. This is such an excellent album. I thought I'd go ahead and show um, the, the others I have. I'm sufficiently breathless. breathless. This is not n nearly as good as the... Um, no, it's not like the first album at all. There's a couple of real nice tracks, but the cover... This is one of my favorite covers, Nesbitt. I know you watch. It's not that I am not going to make a favorite album covers video. I may eventually. It's just that in order to really show you um, what my favorite album covers were would be a lot of work because I can't remember. I'd have I have so many records that I have to look at. It may happen, but this is one. This is one of my favorite album covers. I even um, endeavored to find out who the artist was, Johnny something, because he did uh, West Bruce and Langan and some other uh, album covers that I really like. Um, where is his name? Oh, illustrations, Joe Patagno. Not Johnny, Joe Patagno. And here's the inside. Cool. We're in space. This is a, this is a great album. And I bought this not that long ago, so I still don't know this one too well. But I went ahead and got Dawn Explosion, and I just need to to listen to this because I, I really don't even know what it sounds like. But I wanted to get that. <clears throat> I was still thinking about Miles a lot um, and listening to some actually, and. Um, wanted to show this um this is one of the uh deluxe editions of bitches brew that has uh, come out and this is of the complete bitches brew sessions i think it's come out again since then possibly on a box set of vinyl maybe but this is the um unedited recordings all of them um it's monstrous. Four discs or something like that. One, two, three, four. Four CDs. Yeah, I have I have gone all the way through this. And this is just a beautiful package. I am most certain that at least a few of you other cats have this already. And um, I don't have the new vinyl edition of uh, Kind of Blue. It it's, looks creamy. I'm tempted. But years ago, they put out a limited edition CD version of the album at the correct speed. You enthusiasts know the kind of blue, the one that we all know, was released at the wrong speed. It's a little fast. I forget the story. It's in here. But this was a master sound gold CD uh, release of Kind of Blue. It came out in this special um, long box, which has a format is kind of clunky, sort of like a box book, you know. But I'm glad that this did, that this kind of you don't see this too often. It's really not the greatest idea and listen to me talking all this stuff but I wanted to just show this um, and um, also to elicit comments as to whether or not you folks do indeed know and have heard or probably own kind of blue at the correct speed uh, this is a gold CD and um, gold CDs they're see-through when you put them up into the light. You can almost, yeah, you can see my records behind them almost even with that light. And the, techno the uh, technology behind it is less reflection bounce to uh, somehow affect the signal even though it's digital. All I can tell you is I have several gold CDs and they're all noticeably sharper noticeably all of them a b to the regular cd or whatever noticeably so i want to show this and um I wonder if i can grab it right quick i was thinking there's something else 
No, yeah, that's really there's a bunch of records I'd like to show, but um, I believe his name is Chris. The last time <coughs> he showed a video, the guy up in Canada who has the, the second spin shop, he showed a Time album and um, mentioned he thought maybe I had it. I don't, I don't have that one, but I told him I have this one, which is Smooth Ball. Yeah, these are rare. These are hard to find. This is an original. I've had it for since I was in my 20s. And um, members of uh, Steppenwolf, someone went on to Steppenwolf from this band. Some other bands, I believe, came out of this. Time stands for Trust in Men Everywhere, but I had been thinking I'd like to show this. This goes back to the 60s. I think. 69, 70. Let's see. It's been so long. I'm getting so old. I see I'm at the 20 minute mark here, but um, yeah, Smooth Ball. I wanted to show this. This is an original. That's another um, part of my collection that I haven't dived into lately is my uh, 60s old psychedelia pop stuff and um, need to, to jump into some of that stuff. But this is one I wanted to show right quick, Smooth Ball by Time. This is a great, it's a great album. It's one that uh, I recommend to all, all of you, all of you that uh, are big in this stuff. So let me go ahead and wrap this up because when I do these long videos, they really do, um, my computer, all it can do is upload the video. So I can't use it until it's done. And I just hate that. So if you're still with me, Brandon, congratulations again on your 1331. It's more by now. And also I'm saying thank you to my subscribers over 1000. Wow. I mean, this is a pre, this is a precedent. This is a, this is, uh, Dan from Canada is over, well over a thousand, right? I, are there are others. See, I don't know all the people in the vinyl community, so pardon me, but within the, the primary circle of people that I, I keep up with, um, these, these, these appear to be some milestones for the community, I dare say. Thousand. Thank you. Thank you very much.